Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Whitney with Crafty Thoughts and Whatnots. And today this is a quick, easy uh, finger bow tutorial, just a how-to, and this is how I do it. Now I'll put in the description a couple of videos that I've watched that helped me over time. But here I'm gonna show you guys uh, three different uh, finger bows. So we've got a single and a double here. And I'll show you a multiple loop at the end, but see the top one here is our double bow. And the bottom one is our single bow. And I will show you in regular time how we start. So this is just a piece of ribbon I've had in my stash. This is my practice ribbon. First, you're gonna drop it. That's what makes the bow perfect, kidding. Anyways, hold the ribbon between your thumb and your ring finger, and then bring the ribbon over top of your index finger. You're gonna pull it around, bring it around under your middle finger. And for the double bow, we're going to loop it in between our fingers. So over index, under middle, and you're gonna bring it back up. Now you're gonna take this end and you're gonna put it through basically the hole in your, what I'm gonna call your finger pit. If you have sausage fingers, such as I do, you're gonna need something to probably stick that through there. So in order to hold the tension, I just use an extra, like a, a dowel or a stick or something nearby. And that's just so you can easily push your ribbon through. This is a little bit thicker of a ribbon, so I needed a little bit of help, hence the dowel. So pull that through. And now we've created a small little diagonal piece of ribbon. And this right here is the piece we're going to now tuck our end under. So you're gonna bring that back around the side in between your fingers. You're gonna take your end and you're going to tuck that underneath the diagonal piece you just made. And then we're gonna pull up. And then I pull down and that cinches the middle of your bow. I kind of cinch it a little bit more. And then I like to pull the tail we've been holding with our thumb into the middle as well. And then here's the little, you know, cute wiggle room in order to get the bow off of your sausage fingers. <laughs> and there's a little double bow. It looks perfect. Now it takes a lot of practice, you guys. I was a hot mess for a long time. I watched a tutorial consistently and slowly. And then over time, I practiced and practiced and practiced while I did things at my desk or while I waited in line. I kept a piece of ribbon in my purse, all those good things. So now we're gonna start the single bow. Much, much easier, but basically the same premise. Uh, we're gonna take out our double bow, and don't be worried. <laughs> And we're going to start the same way. So with my thumb, I'm going to hold my tail under there. And all I'm doing is looping it around once. We're going to put the tail through the same hole. This time, since there's less here, I, I was able to do that on my own without the help of a dowel or a stick. Bring it around the middle in between your fingers. And then that same diagonal that we created, we're going to tuck the tail underneath there once again. Everything comes with just a little bit of difficulty, guys. Even a seasoned person, I am not saying I'm seasoned, will have issues. <laughs> so tuck it under, and then you're gonna pull that up and cinch your, your middle. Pull the tail into the middle, and then I like to work, work it a little bit tighter, and then wiggle them off your fingers. And there's a single one. And if at any time you need any extra help, you guys just take this, this video, slow it down, hit pause. Now, I made a lot of different bows that didn't make the cut because it was a lot of mess going on. So now I've got this grouping of ribbon. It's an extra piece of ribbon I used on a, on a, on a gift. So we'll start the same way. And so I'm going one, two, and then I'm gonna do a third group here and then bring it back down. The key is to always bring it back down and bring it up around your middle finger and that will be the, your last loop. So this is now a three loop bow. If you want four or five, you might wanna use a thinner ribbon. Same thing, now take the really long tail and put that through the very, basically the very end hole closest to where your fingers are, I like to say your finger pit. <laughs> And then see, it might be a little bit easier now to see that cross section that we made, that diagonal loop. You're gonna take your tail and tuck it underneath. And pull that straight up and out. And then the, long, the harder you do that, keep pulling, tug, tug, tug. You're cinching the middle of your bow. I bring the other tail into the middle and then kinda, here's the part where, give me a little WD-40, kidding, but uh, just get it off your fingers. <laughs> if you're lucky and you don't have Vienna sausage fingers such as myself, you'll do fine. 
And then look how cute that is. It's just, it, it turns out, it looks it looks like you guys, guys, it looks like you know I know what I'm doing and all this means is just practice. I was so intimidated in the beginning. I was very, very disheartening because a lot of them didn't turn out. But just remember, practice makes perfect. You too will be able to do it. Thank you guys so much. Hopefully this tutorial helps. Remember in the description, there'll be links to other videos if they should help you. I love you guys. Happy crafting and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.